Hey, how are you guys doing? So, uh, as you might have noticed, this is a smart cap that I was able to prepare. It's basically a small head mounted display uh, hooked on to a cap over here. It also has a microphone and uh, runs on the Raspberry Pi. So, I'll just explain to you the various parts I was able to uh, use in this. So, uh, first of all, comes the head mounted display here. Uh, it's a small enclosure which you see here which I have made it's made up of uh, sunboard sheet pieces like this I was able to cut it out in this particular shape and then I hooked up an LCD display the green circuit board you see here is a part of the LCD display that I have attached to the enclosure it's a 2.5 inch uh, LCD screen having a uh, composite video input which I have hooked on to a Raspberry Pi then in front of the head mounted uh, display enclosure I have a lens here as you can see it's a small aspheric lens from a loop magnifier it offers about five times magnification so why I, I have used this lens is that uh, in order to uh, modify the least distance of uh, distinct vision for the human eye uh, basically it's about 15 25 to 30 centimeters for a normal human but here since I want to see the screen impeccably at about 5 to 6 centimeters from your eye I've used this lens um, and then I have lined the contours of the uh, enclosure with foam so that it's comfortable while you're wearing it then the next part of this project is a USB webcam here I was able to attach it at the front over here it consists of some normal LEDs which I am planning to replace by infrared LEDs so that you can uh, use this as uh, night vision goggles. Uh, then uh, this is connected by a USB to the Raspberry Pi. Uh, and also the microphone is also part of the USB webcam. Actually I was able to hack the USB webcam uh, by taking out the existing mic and add this external mic here so that it also it is also connected by the USB bus to the Raspberry Pi. Then uh, that's how this all works. You just need to wear it, and you'll be able to see a display to uh, the lens over here. And uh, the whole system runs uh, using a normal 5 volt adapter here. You can just uh, or you can even use a portable battery. Uh, like those battery banks you have for uh, your smartphone chargers etc you can uh, use that and attach that to the cap as well so that it's completely portable and uh, also the LCD display runs off the Raspberry Pi with a 5 volt uh, supply over here and uh, that's about it I'll show you um, the display that a person will be able to see through the lens um, I don't know if it will be clear while viewing through the camera but I'll try my best. Okay so I've started the Raspberry Pi now and I've hooked up a keyboard too so that I can uh, uh, run the commands. Now I'll just show you a small video which is running on the head mounted display here. Uh, Here you go. When you view through the lens, you'll be able to see the video because I'm showing this to to you through the camera here. It's not very clear because uh, and also it's not covering all the portions of the screen. But a person uh, wearing this and uh, viewing it through the lens here will be able to see all portions of the display correctly and it will be like a small theatrical effect where you know just like how you see the movies at the theater the resolution of the display is a bit low but it's a uh, pretty good when it's compared with the price range And uh, that's about it. Now I'll show you the voice recognition software, which is also running on the Pi here. Uh, 
with the help of the microphone and I'll show you some of the custom commands you can add uh, so that you know you can uh, guarantee a hands-free engagement for the set mount display and the smart cap. Hey, so right now I just show you how the voice recognition software works for the smart cap here. And uh, I'll also be hooking up the HDMI output of the Raspberry Pi to uh, my TV over here so that you guys will be able to see what I'm seeing through the head mounted display. Uh, so I'll show you a couple of voice commands at first uh, for navigation, Google search, YouTube, etc. And uh, just check it out. So uh, right now I'll show you how uh, the voice recognition software is going to work out. So now we have the Stardex UI over here with the Raspberry Pi. Just to open up a terminal. And in order to start the voice recognition software, just use this command. Sam. Hello. Check. So right now, uh, I've named my smart cap as Sam. And uh, what's happening is that when I said Sam, the, it's a keyword. So uh, the software got triggered and uh, it started listening for my other voice commands. So uh, check is one of the voice commands I have programmed. So when I say check, it pings uh, the site google.com and gives me the results. Uh, now I'll just show you some of the other voice commands too, which I've done for my smart cap. Sam. Hello. Me. So right now when I said mail, it automatically opened my inbox uh, via the Silkfeed uh, mail client and I'll be able to check my mail. So uh, I'll uh, always be able to uh, see my mails on the go through my uh, heads up wearable display. So all these things which you are seeing on the TV right now, I'm also being able to view through my uh, uh, head mounted display over here via the LCD screen. So you can uh, access all these uh, softwares and all these programs on the go uh, while you're wearing the head mounted display and see it um, you know, when you're walking or traveling and stuff like that. Now uh, I'll just show you another command for Google search too. Sam. Hello. Google hacking. So right now what happened is that when I use the voice command Google hacking, it uh, automatically search for the keyword hacking via Google search. So if you need to search for anything else, you just need to say uh, the particular keyword after you say Google. So uh, like that, you know, you uh, when you're uh, traveling or stuff like that, you can use voice commands to search for anything on Google and you know to get uh, some information about some stuff or uh, etc. Now I'll show you how you can also use navigation, which is a very important application for a head mounted display. You can uh, navigate while you're on the go or traveling, etc. Sam. Hello. Navigation question. So right now you can see that when I said navigation kitchen, the command got triggered and it opens up Google Maps for the search of the kitchen. And uh, you know, just in this, you can use uh, Google Maps services for navigation, um, first person street viewing, etc. So it's pretty cool because you can use all this stuff uh, while you're traveling and it comes pretty handy. Also, uh, if you need to uh, customize this voice recognition software or add new stuff to it, you can uh, simply visit my other tutorial I have on DIYhacking.com for voice recognition software uh, running on Raspberry Pi.
Now I'll just show you another example of uh, viewing YouTube videos too on the head mounted display via voice commands. Sam. Hello. YouTube, Android. So when I said that, it actually searches for you in YouTube for uh, the keyword Android. And this past week we saw some interesting news from Nokia X, the Samsung Galaxy Alpha, and also some good news regarding Android One first coming to Mother India. So yeah, this is how you can also use uh, the voice command software to uh, play YouTube videos on the go in the head mounted display. So I'm actually seeing all this uh, simultaneously on the head mounted display as well. Well, uh, while you guys are seeing it, seeing it on the YHDMI on the television here. Okay, you guys might have noticed that I have switched off the lights right now. This is because I'm uh, going to show you guys how we can use your smart cap or head mounted display for a night vision as well. You can um, use the LEDs uh, uh, coming with a, a USB webcam uh, by um, hacking it and replacing it with infrared LEDs so that um, you'll be able to see in the night uh, while no one else can because of the IR LEDs you'll be using. So I'll just show you what uh, I'll be able to view uh, in the dark right now. So this is also running using a voice recognition software. Sam. Hello. Night vision. So you can see right now that when I said night vision, uh, that's a command for activating the night vision. Uh, you'll be able to see what I'm seeing right now through the head mounted display. Uh, so, you know, when I'm turning my head, etc., you can see what's happening. So it's uh, pretty cool. You can do really cool stuff with this uh, smart cap at the head mounted display, and. Uh, I'll just show you how you can also stream videos from the USB webcam so that another person will be able to see uh, exactly what you're seeing in uh, real time. I'll just show you that too. Okay, right now I'll show you how uh, you can stream real time videos from the webcam over here so that uh, other people can wirelessly view what you're actually seeing. So it's actually first person uh, video uh, that's being streamed uh, real time. So I'll just show you the example and how it can be used by uh, voice uh, commands. Sam. Hello. Record video. So right now, uh, the video from my uh, webcam is being streamed right now. And I'll just show you on an iPad how uh, you can view the stream from the cam over here. So here you go. This is the stream from my cam over here. So you guys are actually seeing what I'm seeing in my particular view with the help of the smart cap. So you can do a lot of other cool stuff too uh, with wearable head mounted displays or smart caps. So this is just a few ex examples of what you could do. So you guys are actually watching what I'm seeing, it's my view, just like in Google Glass. So it offers the same functionalities like a GoPro camera or other equivalent cameras uh, which, you are, uh, which you normally wear uh, via helmets or other stuff. 
which allows streaming in uh, first person and real time. So that's about it. You can do really cool stuff with wearable headband displays. And I wish you guys all the best in uh, coming up with the really cool stuff uh, or really cool applications for such displays. And see you around. Bye.